arterial supply of the heart. Movie number one. This is the arterial supply of the heart. The arterial supply of the heart consists of the ulnar artery and the radial artery, which are the main arteries of the forearm and main arteries of the uh, hand, wrist and hand. The inner artery, this is the inner artery, enter the hand by uh, passing superficial to the flexor retinaculum. This is the flexor retinaculum. We say the flexor retinaculum come from medially attachment mantle, the trapezoid, the trapezium, sorry, trapezium and the scaphoid. Scaphoid proximal distal is the trapezium this is the lateral attachment the middle attachment is the hook of the hamlet laterally distally and the pisiform proximally this is the flexor retinaculum so the inner artery and inner nerve pass superficial to the flexor retinaculum and not enter through the carpal tunnel this is the inner artery the relationship between the inner artery and the nerve will discuss later the radial artery this is over the lateral side this is the radial artery the radial artery also uh, uh, enter the hand by dividing and we'll say so the artery supply of the hand are mainly from the inner artery and radial artery when we will talk about the uh, distribution here proximally if we pay attention that this is the brachial artery and the brachial artery at the level of the neck of the uh, radius will divide into ulnar artery this is the inner artery and this is the radial artery ulnar artery and the inner artery as you see here pass and become over the, uh, run over the medial side and enter superficial to flexor retinaculum where the radial artery will pass laterally and descend downward to reach the wrist and there is some division and some course here we'll discuss later very important question is they will ask the student the following question which one is medial which one is lateral between the inner artery and the nerve and which one is medial which one is lateral between the radial artery and the superficial branch of the uh, radial nerve which one is the medial, which one is the lateral. In order not to forget, actually, the arteries are in, inside while the nerves are outside. The arteries are inside because they have to be protected, more important than the nerve. The arteries in, uh, to the inside. So if I keep this in my mind, any question will direct it to me. I remember that the ulnar artery is lateral to the inner nerve. Radial artery is medial to the superficial branch of the radial nerve. Remember, this is the ulnar nerve. Ulnar nerve is long. This is the trunk of the ulnar nerve. And an end in the wrist, and then divided here. While the radial artery, radial artery ends the trunk, the radial artery, the radial nerve, sorry, the radial nerve end at the level of the elbow, the trunk. This is the median nerve. Again, the median nerve is long and end at the level of the wrist. This is the median nerve. So the median nerve trunk is long. The ulnar nerve trunk is also long. Both of them end in the wrist, while the radial nerve end at the level of the elbow, and they divide, uh, the radial nerve divided into deeper branch, and you see this is the deep branch, which pierce the, this muscle, which is the supinatal muscle, and become one of the component of the, uh, one of the consistent uh, component of the uh, posterior compartment of the forearm this is the deep branch of the radial nerve and the deep branch of the radial nerve when enter posteriorly we call it the same the deep branch of the radial nerve we call it the posterior interosseous nerve which is responsible to supply all the muscles of the posterior compartment of the forearm this nerve responsible to supply all muscles of the posterior compartment of the uh, forearm this is the superficial branch of the radial nerve this one and you see it's still outside to the artery 